Hi, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss. Well, just a recap and summary of the fundamental theorem of calculus. Basically, I'm going to put in all the other videos that I did and just basically summarize it and write down the theorem in this uh, this video here. It's really useful. It's yeah, so basically uh, what the fundamental theorem is. It shows that differentiation and integration they are a basically inverse process, and this is very important in solving areas and whatnot. It just makes it really easy. Okay, so now basically the fundamental theorem of calculus. Uh, before I get to the the two parts of the theorem, I just want to first state that y your f is continuous on a closed interval a and b. Uh, this means it's defined at a and b here. So yeah, so it's only for this this case here. So now if we look at part one of the theorem, yeah, part one just states that if you have g of x function is equal to the integral from a to x, where x is in between a and b of f of t dt, then g prime of x is equal to f of x here, or just the derivative of it is equal to this function. And now part two of the theorem basically is from uh, a to b, integral of f x dx. This just equals to the antiderivative at b minus antiderivative at a, where yeah, where f is antiderivative of the capital F, or basically f prime of x is equal to f of x here. So this is the entire theorem in both parts. Also, uh, you can also rewrite these two. Uh, the first one you could just write the part one of the theorem. You can just write d over dx of integral a to x f of t dt just equals to f of x here, or the derivative of the integral, which is g of x, is just equal to fx. So you could write part one like that, and you could also write part two such that you'll just put this, uh, put this, plug this derivative of, of the antiderivative inside. So you can have something like a b f capital F prime of x dx is equal to f of b minus f of a here. And also, just another note: you could write this just as f of x. The, the antiderivative, and then you just plug this thing a to b. So, so you could just write this notation, which means you subtract f of b, you have subtract a, f of a from f of b like this. So you could write it as that. So basically, taking together these parts, they show that the integral and differentiation are inverse processes. Yeah, I just typed it down here. So basically, taking two parts of the theorem together, it can be seen that differentiation and integration are inverse processes. And then this is a quote from my calculus book, each undoes what the other does. So what it means is, like especially in this case here, the, the integral of f of x, or if you take the integral of this function here, this is equal to and a derivative of it. So, But if you take the derivative of this, you get back to this one. So it basically undoes what this integral does. So yeah, it's just, uh, just wrap your head around, that's a good quotation. And now the last part of this video, I just want to go through some important notes on the importance of the fundamental theorem. This is from my calculus book, I just wrote down what they have here and I found it really useful. Just really interesting. Basically, the fundamental theorem of calculus is unquestionably the most important theorem in all of calculus. And actually, indeed, ranks one of the great accomplishments of the human mind. So this is really important. Uh, I'll show you, I'll explain a bit further, but basically, before it was discovered from the time of Eudoxus, I'm not sure that this guy is, but he's probably a, a genius mathematician or whatnot, and Archimedes, to the time of Galileo, and Vermont problems of finding area, volumes, and lengths of curves were so difficult that only a genius could meet the challenge. So it was, it was pretty hard doing, a, basically finding the area under, under a curve back then than it is now, or areas, volumes, which I will show later. But basically now armed with the systematic method that Newton Lebanese fashioned out out of the fundamental theorem, which I'll show in my next videos. Basically, we could solve all these challenging problems, like any, any one of us could solve it pretty easily just using integration and whatnot you apply, by applying the fundamental theorem. So it's really useful and uh, yeah, it's really important. It's actually one of the greatest things to have ever invented. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this and learned, uh, learned from a little history lesson too. That's all for today. Hopefully you learned and uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.